hi guys this is pearl again and you are most welcome to today's tutorial for today we are going to focus on how to make your website user friendly isn't that exciting now let's quickly get to know how and what to do to make our website user friendly for everyone to stay longer hours on our website let's go one of the most important things to consider to make your website user friendly is speed now we all know how frustrating and uncomfortable it is when we visit a website and the website is running very slow on our phones or our devices or wherever we choose to access the website. Once the website is slow, it shifts our attention and it, it might even make us never ever to visit the website again. That is the same thing you need to keep in mind when you are building a website for your business or anything at all. Your website needs not to be slow. Now, to make sure that your website isn't slow, first of all, make sure that you're not using files that are too huge for the website. So files has to do with images, videos, audios. Make sure that these files are not very huge or are not too large for your website because once they are very huge, your website is definitely going to run at a slow rate. Now, the next thing you also need to consider to make your website user-friendly is the combination of colors. When it comes to colors, it is very important to know the right color combination to use in designing your website. You can't just use any color combination. You can't mix red with violet and gray and blue and yellow. That is too much. Now, one thing about colors is that do not use too many colors. You can just stick to three colors to design your website. Once your website becomes too colorful, no one is going to take your website serious and it's, it's not going to be too friendly because it's going to be very irritating to the eye. You can stick to few mild colors and also blend mild colors with sharper colors. Now, if you're not sure of the color combination to use in your website, you can just visit Adobe Color Scheme and Adobe Color Scheme is going to help you with the right color combination and which colors blend well with each other and also which colors do not blend well with each other. When it comes to colors, after you have created your website, it is very important to make a lot of people view it to give you their knowledge on the color combination if you are not sure. The third thing to do to make sure that your website is user friendly is to use clear error indicators. The purpose of clear error indicators is to guide the website user on the error or the mistake he or she has done in filling whatever information he or she needs to do. So for example, let's take it you are filling a form in a website and you mistakenly type in a wrong email address. The purpose of the clear error indicator is to tell you email address is wrong and not just say wrong information or invalid. Invalid is too broad. What exactly am I supposed to do to make sure that I can move to the next stage? That is the purpose of a clear error indicator. Now, when you use clear error indicators appropriately, it is going to reduce the frustration of web users when they encounter a problem and it's also going to improve user experience. Now, the fourth thing you need to consider to make your website user friendly is to embrace white spaces. Now, the purpose of white spaces is very important in web design because it helps the user to easily lead from one element to the other. Now, white spaces also bring harmony in your website and also balance in your website. Now, the most important thing about white space is that it also helps the user to feel more comfortable with your website and it makes your website looks uncluttered. That is the very important use of white spaces. So learn to embrace white spaces and know how to use it in your website creation. The fifth thing to do to make your website user friendly is to have an intuitive navigation. Now, an intuitive navigation is very, very important because it makes your website very easy to use. And once your website is easy to use, most people would like to stay on it for a very long time and also to take lots of actions on the website because they understand your website and they know what to do without thinking. Now, if you don't have an intuitive navigation, your website viewers are going to be one wondering what exactly they should do and this is very bad it can just turn them off and you are going to lose out on your website viewers taking action in your website now an intuitive navigation should tell the website user that okay I'm seeing this then this is the action I'm supposed to take 
okay it has, it's not supposed to make your website viewer think it's not supposed to make your website um, viewer figure something out in your website they see what they are seeing and they know exactly the kind of action they should take it's very simple and easy for them to understand that is what intuitive navigation means do not focus too much on designing your work your website putting things together to make it creative and forget about making your website intuitive because if your website is not intuitive and the design is beautiful what is the point because i am struggling to figure things out on my own and you need to always put it at the back of your mind that your website should be intuitive the sixth thing to consider to make your website user friendly is the application of consistency. Consistency is very important because it helps web users trust your website and also stay long on your website and also believe whatever information you want to convey to them. Consistency brings balance. Now your website is supposed to be consistent regardless on whichever device is being viewed on. So if someone uses a mobile phone to view your website, if someone also uses another device like a laptop, a tablet, or even a desktop to view your website, it should appear the same. It should be consistent. It should be throughout every device. So it doesn't matter which device is being used to view your website. It should be the same. Now, consistency when it comes to color means that you have to use consistent colors. Don't just mix colors together because you want to do something or you want to be try a lot of things. This is very bad. If you are using two colors, make sure that these two colors or if it's blue and white, make sure that the blue and white is consistent throughout your website. And this brings harmony as well. Now, when it comes to consistency, the next thing you need to consider applying consistency is typography. If you are using a particular font style for all your headlines, make sure that it runs throughout your page. If you are, you are using a particular font style for all your paragraphs, make sure it equally runs throughout your page. Now, font size is also very important. Make sure that the font size of your headlines of your paragraph is consistent throughout your page. This only makes your page look very organized and it also makes viewers trust your page more. Now, let's move on to the next thing you need to consider to make your website user friendly. Another thing to consider to make your website user friendly is the use of a search functionality. Now the purpose of a search functionality is to help your website user find a specific content or a particular content without navigating throughout the page. This can be so frustrating and this can be so unfriendly. So assuming you have a website that sells thousands of things and you don't have a search functionality this will force the user to go through all these thousands of things to look for the particular content or the particular information your web user is looking for but the search functionality makes it easy all you have to do is to type in whatever service or product you are looking for in the search functionality and it pops up for you and you get your information and you take whatever action you need to change using the search functionality the search functionality makes things very very easy for the user and it also improves user experience now the next thing you also need to consider is to make sure that your logo is visible logos are one of the most important things in our website you don't want a website with no logo now if you don't have a logo in your website the user is going to think that they are on the wrong page because what indicates or what shows that this is the particular website I visited or what shows that this is the right website I visited make sure that your logo is bold is visible for any web user to see it clearly and make sure that your logo is not different from the ones that people are used to okay so if your logo is blue on the outside make sure that when you are creating your website it still maintains the same color the same style the same whatever in your website this will make people identify with your brand and also your website as well now the last thing you also need to consider for today which will bring us to the end of today's tutorial is to include partners or social media handles to your website now once you include partners or social media handles to your website it builds trust and once trust is built built your web users are going to stay on your web page if everything else is okay so if your navigation is good if your your website is friendly 
and trust is built they're going to stay for long because social media handles verifies that your website can be found on maybe facebook instagram wherever now business partners also indicates that your website is also being trusted by other source that have come together to partner with you to form a website so all these put together makes your website very user friendly and it also makes web users stay longer and take whatever action you will need them to take in your website so just practice all these things put them together keep them at the back of your mind when you're creating a website and you'll be so amazed on how remarkable your website will turn out to be okay guys so this brings us to the end of today's tutorial on what to do or certain things to practice to make sure that your website is user friendly i know and i believe this tutorial was very useful now at this moment if you have not subscribed to our channel you know what to do all you have to do is to click on the subscribe button right below so that anytime we post any content at all you will get that notification and watch that tutorial Thank you for subscribing to our channel and we will see you in the next tutorial.